I don't think it's necessary to do an in-depth review of these machines, given the fact that there is already a third generation of them. But I can tell you all about my long-term experience using these new computers and Apple's bet on their own silicon. In July of 2022, I was able to get this 16-inch M1 Max MacBook Pro after they got back ordered at the Apple online store. And I remember thinking that it was going to completely change the way I was working. A total revolution. Because you see the reviews, the tests, the metrics, and even though you don't fully understand them, you get hype. And it was. Kinda. But by the time that I got the computer, I was spiraling down a little bit. Too many changes and one confusing project left me barely any freelance work and I even got really close to selling my new laptop. Thankfully, I got a call from my old work and thought that maybe I could pursue my dream career while also having something more stable. I don't know. So I was in my new old job, and for a minute it crossed my mind to bring my new laptop to work to get all the photo and video work at the office between location shoots. But the idea of carrying a 16 inch laptop every day was already breaking my back. So I did what any same person would do and buy a second computer. Yeah, I know that my wolf should provide for these things, but it was a special request, and I need to get things done fast. I could honestly say that this changed my whole world life. I was able to edit faster and on the spot. I didn't have to wait to get home anymore. It felt like nothing got in the way between me and my work. I may have from time to time a small hiccups within large libraries in Lyro or some dropped frames when you first press play and you reach the zone after you leave the color rate. But nothing worth noting or that I could really say if I wasn't nitpicking. It would just work. I do have to admit that my bag was still pretty heavy, but the benefits far away the cons. And it's not like it was hurting my back or something. And to this day I'm still pretty happy with the quality I'm able to produce. These are truly pro machines that will get you out of any tough spot. I really can't think of anything that you can throw at the end that will free these computers. And I don't want to waste your time narrating the full specs or doing benchmarks because by now these are not even the most powerful anymore. The M3 Pro and Max chips that released recently have proven to be even more capable. But in my experience these computers will not let you down no matter how difficult or how heavy the task at hand is. So is having two laptops the way to go? <laughs> is there too much of a difference between the Pro and Max chips? The way that I made this work is by having the 16 inch mostly attached to the studio display monitor and it's where I did all my freelance video work and where I do the color grading and scan my films or whatever. The 
14 inch, on the other hand, it's my daily driver. It goes with me almost everywhere every day. With the M1 Pro chip that, believe me, it is not slouch. I'm able to edit in Lightroom around 300 photos every day and make reels for Instagram with some basic color grade with it. To me, the 14 inch is the perfect traveling or EDC size. And even with the basic configuration, it's not a compromise with the performance. If you're thinking of getting a MacBook or a MacBook Pro right now, you cannot go wrong with any. And you can even try to get a used one in Marketplace that could better suit your needs at a lower price. But believe me, these computers are game changers. It's probably gonna take some time before something else to be this big of a leap. I don't think it can convince you of anything that you haven't already decided. So thank you very much for watching this mess of a video. I hope my experience brought you some clarity or at least it was entertaining. See you and take care.